Don, obviously, it was a, a comfort to, to have Asia back. But uh, how much do you think the team learned about new ways to attack and, and to score and to defend with her being out? Well, I, I mean, I thought we, I thought we, uh, thought we came out in attack mode. I thought we, uh, we didn't make as many shots uh, that we would have liked to make. But I, I thought it was different types of shots. There were jump shots. There were shots going to the rim. Um, there were shots, you know, we were trying to get inside as well. Um, so they were coming from a lot of different places. And, uh, and if they go in, I think we, you know, we separate ourselves a lot, e a lot sooner than what we did in the game. Uh, but I like, I like where our team is. I like the fact that, you know, we have a lot of players who um, can score the basketball and they feel comfortable shooting the ball. Don, did you like what you saw out of the – Asia tonight in her few minutes in there? I, I did. She came out aggressive. She looked like she missed playing the game. Um, obviously, we, didn't, we wanted to play her um, minimal minutes um, just to get her acclimated to playing a little bit. She worked hard in, in rehab, and she put herself in a position to, uh, to play today and not further injure her ankle. And, you know, when you dangle a, a goal in front of a player and they, their body responds and they're – you know, psychologically, they're where they need to be. You, you know, you reward them by putting them out there. Don, it certainly looks like that Mississippi State will be coming in here undefeated. First place will be on the line. Just how big of a matchup is that? And, and have your players talked about title scenarios and, and how this game could determine the season uh, uh, with you? Uh, no, we, I mean, we just talked about I, – I just mentioned it yesterday. I mean, sorry, after the game today, uh, that it's a, it's a big game. Obviously, they know it's a big game. And – you know, if we want to defend our regular season championship uh, and control our own destiny, uh, they're the you know they're the team to do it. They're the undefeated team. They're they're ranked higher than we are, um, and it's going to be a game in which you know the wills are going to be on the line, and we have to impose our will. And we got to get a lot of people out in the you know in Colonial Life Arena cheering us on. Don, have you seen? Vic building his program there kind of along similar lines to the way you built things here? Yeah, it, it's similar. I mean, it's, you know, I, I think he's got there a little bit quicker than, than we got there. Um, and, um, you know, that, that's what it's about. You, you got to get kids in there that believe in your vision, that are, you know, like-minded, you know, as, as you. And once you do that, you know, they can be not as talented as the rest of the country, but you know, when they play as a cohesive unit, they, they play together for they play. They logged a lot of games and minutes together, uh, and uh, they're used to playing with one another. They're the most seasoned team that uh, that's in our in our league. So we're looking forward to the to the matchup. Kyle. Ole Miss was hanging around there in the first half, and you have a 13-3 run, and all of a sudden it's 15 points at halftime. How big was was that for tonight's game? Well, I mean, we, we knew that they they were going to hang around a little bit. No, no one's going to lie down and, and die on us. You know, obviously, you know, every time that we play, it's a big game for everybody. And, you know, it's not going to – you can't beat them in, in one quarter. It takes a 40-minute period. And, um, you know, I thought and we got up and moving in transition a little bit, got some stops and um, kind of pulled away a little bit. I, I would have liked to see us pull away a little bit more in the second half, but that didn't take place. Coach Insel told us that it was four years of misery playing against Atlanta Coates, and he thinks that she doesn't get the attention she deserves nationally. Do you think she's underrated almost in, in, some, in, in too many minds? Um, underrated? Um, I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wait to answer that. You know, to, to make sure that people will do the right thing. I don't think there's another uh, person in our in, in our in the game of women's basketball that brings what she brings to the table. So without question, I just think that she's, you know, one of a kind. Her mobility, you know, her efficiency, you know, and you know she's put us on our her back night in and night out. So I don't know if. She's underrated, but surely, you know, when when you talk about South Carolina, you talk about Elena Coates and you talk about Asia Wilson. So I think we have two of the best in the country, without a doubt. If 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 they're anywhere else, they're probably talked about a little bit more. So I don't know if that answers your underrated, but 
You know, we got him here in Columbia, South Carolina, at the University of South Carolina, and um, and I, I'm quite sure anybody else in the country would take him.